What's up, YouTube? This is General Hines here today with a big surprise, which is actually an NU match. Even though uh, previously I've only been uploading UU matches, I finally got around to it. I made a new team, NU, and this is the reason I'm uploading this battle is because A, it was my first NU match. B, it was against someone who was very, very high on the uh, ladder. He had like 1,800 rating. Um, and C, because it was actually a very, very good match. So this is against Lohan or Lohan. I don't know if there's any relation to Lindsay. Either way, hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into the match. So I wasn't quite sure who to lead off with, but I just ended up going with my Golurk because it's Choice Banded, 4 attacks, uh, and so I figured it would give me the most coverage. Not really sure if that's true or not, looking back on the battle, but uh, it does end up working out for me because he leads with his own Golurk and assumes that I'm just a Stealth Rocking variant, I guess, but I'm actually not. He sets up his Stealth Rocks, but I take him out clean in one hit with a Shadow Punch, so that was good because he can't spin block now and my entry hazards are going to be here to save. Now he's going to bring in a Loma Molo, and... I know I have to switch out because this thing is a huge tank, so I'm going to bring in Guard of Wire because I can trace Regenerator and take off any damage that he might give me, but he actually makes the safe play and hits me with a Toxic, and it's just going to sort of stall me here. Now, what he doesn't know is that I'm actually a Scarfed Guard of Wire, which is, I'm not sure how common that is, but I'm, I actually am Scarfed. Um, so I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt, but he Protect stalls me and now brings in his Scun Tank to sponge that pretty well, so I have to switch out unless I want to take more uh, damage. So I'd go ahead and do that. I'm going to bring in Armaldo, and he's just going to go balls out. He reads, he tries to make the hard read, goes for the Sucker Punch, but ends up failing because I bring in Armaldo and makes the good play here though, and taunts me, calling out my Stealth Rock. So that was that was major. Um, I, that was so that was a good play on his part. But knowing that I can take good hits, uh, pretty substantial hits from him because I am fully defensive. I am gonna go for the Rapid Spin, at least to get rid of his entry hazards, as he's gonna try and crunch me. Uh, and I'm just gonna go straight for the Stone Edge to see what kind of damage I can do to him, because I know I can take hits from him. Uh, and he seemed more especially defensive. So he brings in his own Lola, who is his physical wall, as the taunt wears off. Now, I know I can take Waterfalls from this thing, because like I said, I am fully defensive. Uh, so I'm gonna try and set up my own Stealth Rocks. He does flinch me with the first Waterfall, a little bit of hacks. This game was actually not hacksy at all. The hacks that did happen was balanced, and none of it was like huge, like really mattered that much. Uh, because I can take another Waterfall and get up my Stealth Rocks. He doesn't flinch me the second time, so that's very good. Uh, but now I am going to have to switch out. So I bring in my Cacturn, which I now know, as you all know, has uh, Water Absorb. So I render his Waterfall uh, useless. And now here's the one thing that I do have to change about this team is I this Cacturn actually has Focus Sash because he's a Focus Sash Spiking set. I need to replace that with Leftovers because I go for the Substitute. Obviously, that nullifies my Sash. Um, but he brings in the Sock, and I am able to get up a layer of spikes due to the substitute, so that's cool. Uh, now I'm just going to assume that this guy's choice, because they tend to be Scarfed, uh, as far as I know. Uh, with what little knowledge I have of this, me of, of this meta. So I bring in Flareon for the resist on the Ice Punch, who is fully defensive, and this Flareon ends up doing serious work. This is what I love about this battle, is every one of my Pokemon got showcased, and they work together very well. So I'm just going to go for the Roar, expecting him to switch. He brings in a Loma Mola, so he can, uh... Um, he can regenerate her off the Hazard's damage, but he then, then I roar him into Skun Tank. Uh, and I'm going to protect to scout to see what he wants to do. He's just going to go for the taunt. It's going to give us both leftovers recovery, but I want my leftovers, leftovers recovery, so that's okay. As he's going to go for the crunch, and because I'm fully defensive, I take it well. We're sort of walls against each other because my I'm, I'm specially offensive but physically defensive, and he is physically offensive but specially defensive. So my flamethrower doesn't do that much to him, so I'm just going to switch out. I'm going to go into my cacturn to take the resist on the crunch. And I do take it well. Now, he calls me out again here. This was dumb. I'm max speed Cacturn, so I wasn't sure if I would outspeed him. But he, I go for the spikes. He ends up uh, calling that out and gets me on that. But I'm going to go for the Seed Bomb to try and do a little bit of damage. But it's really not going to end up killing him. So it doesn't do that much because he does resist the Seed Bomb. So I'm just going to switch out and basically fodder off my Armaldo at this point. Um, because he can't get up any more hazards and... I mean, I've already gotten out my Stealth Rock, so that's, you know, good game there. So I'm just going to fire off my, my Armaldo, uh, because I do have priority on my Cacturn and Sucker Punch, so I want to keep that. So I'm going to go straight in my Dragonair, just see what I can do. I know I can outspeed, so I can get up at least one Dragon Dance before he taunts me, but he does taunt me. So I get up one Dragon Dance, and I'm just going to go straight for the Outrage, because honestly, that's the best thing I can do. And check this out. With the Hazard's damage... It is a two hit KO on a little uh, Dragonair's Outrage. So this is Life Orb Outrage from, I believe I'm Adamant, uh, Dragonair. And he's, now this is key here too, actually this was really lucky. Uh, I didn't even get uh, Confusion Hacks because he does protect for the second one. So that was a very good move, but I, and I don't get the three turn Outrage. So that was very good on his part, so that was close. But I don't get Confusion Hacks and I'm able to take out his Alomomola. He doesn't get the double protect and he goes down. Uh, now he's going to bring in his Sock though. 
who, if he scarfed, I have no choice, and I'm also locked into Outrage, so this was a very good re revenge kill on his part, but I know he scarfed because he outsped me, so he kills me with the Ice Punch, but I'm going to go into Flareon for the resist, so he has to switch out, and on this turn, I'm going to go for the Wish. So, high stakes here, very close game, and I'm just going to go for the Safe Protect, because what else am I going to do, and even Protect even protects me from Taunt, which I think is really cool, so even if he taunts, who cares? Uh, so I get free health back, basically. Um, and now that I have full health, I'm able to take a crunch very well. I go for the flamethrower, actually get the burn, which, I'm not sure if that mattered. I, yeah, actually, that ends up not mattering because he brings in a Scolipede for the revenge kill anyway, and I have nothing to go into. So no matter if he had gotten a little bit more crunch damage on me or not, you know, and plus he would have been, well, no, he wouldn't have been burned. So if I hadn't got the burn, he wouldn't have died that turn, but I just would have, and I would have, but I would have been able to take another crunch as long as he didn't get max damage. I'm not sure how that worked. Uh, but yeah, so I tried to stall out his Skullipede. I'm not even sure what this Skullipede seems to run because I don't. I only see one attack from it. So he revenge kills me with Earthquake, takes out my Flareon, but I'm able to bring in Gardevoir, who is Scarfed, as I said, and take out his um, Skullipede clean with a Psychic. I know that's what I have to lock myself into, but I do know that he's going to go for the Jinx. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the last thing that I have to do. This match just it went really quick, but they were very, very, very uh, good plays made, I think, on both sides, so I'm just going to fodder off my Cacturn, he's going to be able to take me out with the Ice Punch, I'm sorry, with the Ice Beam, but now that I have uh, Gardevoir switched out and back in, I can switch moves, so I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt, which hits both of them, and he's going to bring in his Sock. Now, this is the the end point of the battle, basically. The game would be over, uh, he would have won if his if his uh, Sock was actually Jolly, but he's not. I'm Timid Gardevoir, he's adamant, we're both Scarfed, so I take him out with a Thunderbolt, um, and I think even with ha with uh, Entry Hazards, the... Uh, Psychic would have killed Jinx, but the I end up just going, you know, for the Thunderbolt because it's safe, it's neutral on both of them, and I end up winning the battle, which was, that was a very, very close battle. I'm not even, I, I don't know, like, I just thought it was a good battle. I, I don't know if this team is good, I don't know what you guys who play R uh, and you uh, know of this team, uh, or if you think it's good, I, I, maybe, I, maybe I'll do a, an RMT video sometime. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that battle. I'll be trying to get out some more uh, videos of this team, and probably more NU teams. I really enjoyed NU, actually. I like watching NU videos. Uh, I'll hope to make some more in the future, some more from NU and uh, possibly RU. Maybe even OU. Who knows? Maybe even OU. I get bored with OU. Just, I, I, I don't know. The, the other tiers are just more fun to watch for me. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Challenges. Give me those challenges. I don't care who or where or when. You name the time, I will uh, battle you. And yeah, until next time, General Hines out.